Some country artists do live modestly, but other country stars live in homes like this. That's the hefty home of Alan Jackson's Hilltop Estate, and did you know it has eight bathrooms? There's more where that came from, along with four other homes that will leave you either jealous, zillowing the home so you can drive by it, or wondering how you can get invited to a pool party there. Kenny Chesney makes it in our five homes we are peeking inside today. It's a whopping $11.5 million. This Mediterranean villa is a four bedroom, nine bathroom, 12,599 square feet. While he sold it for 11.5 mil, he purchased the home in 2009 for 9.25 million. Dubbed Bella Luce, Beautiful Light, this extraordinary estate has top of the line amenities, including a floor made from 150 year old reclaimed walnut didn't even realize that existed until this moment. If you Shania Twain to that fact and it didn't impress you much, there are Venetian plaster walls, hand-carved beams of cedar and Douglas fir, limestone fireplaces, a home theater, gym, elevator, there is even a lookout tower. Before we move on, let's quickly cover the outside. You have a circular stone driveway, courtyards, so much room for outdoor entertaining and dining, infinity edge swimming pool and spa, Oh, and I can't forget about the garage big enough to park six cars and the detached garage that will hold four. Miranda Lambert makes this list for her former mansion in Nashville that had photo-worthy views. The five bedroom, 5.5 bathroom, 6,261 square foot home is in Forest Hill section of Nashville. She sold it in 2020, but during the COVID pandemic, we got to see a good amount of the inside while she filmed generous videos of her hubby shirtless, like here, and here, oh, and here. You can see her kitchen there. We've got the double islands, which is great since the singer is a big cook. And who could forget this intimate porch where she performed Bluebird? Miranda would make a generous 2.6 mil off the home, which is a good bit more than what she paid for it originally in 2015 for 1.75 million. This house has maximum privacy, with it being a gated property, the primary suite has his and her bathrooms, and it's a very own porch. You don't even have to leave that room if you don't want to. You can spot a raised ceiling living room, stone fireplace, multiple porches, and I mean, what a nice way to relax and unwind. This next star isn't a Nashville resident anymore. She's moved to New York City, but Miss Kelly Clarkson lived large when she was in town. The seven bed, 11 bath, 20,121 square foot mansion sold for 6.3 million. It was originally listed for 8.75 million when the idol winner originally listed the home in 2017. You won't be able to see this house close up unless you know the owner because it's wrapped by a high fence and gate. Driving up this home is nothing but grand. With a fountain in the center, you are greeted with a circle drive and inviting porch. Once you walk inside, you look straight at a two-story entry with sweeping double staircases. Then, you walk a little further and find both formal living and dining areas, wet bar, pool table, and upper-end amenities. You've got a basement with custom horse bar stools, I mean cool, theater, and four built-in bunk beds. This mansion is situated between the lakefront and a wooded cul-de-sac in Hendersonville, Tennessee, and sits on four acres. If you're bored inside, outside is just as entertaining. We've got a sand volleyball court, pool, garden, cabana, yeah, it's nice. Can you guess this next star's home? It's the tater tot loving Queen Reba McIntyre, and there's something fun about this home. Welcome to this 13,000 square foot mansion in the Nashville suburb of Lebanon. It's a seven bed, five bath beauty nestled on 13 acres of lakefront property. When Reba lived there, it was coined the Starstruck Farms and now called the estate at Cherokee Dock after the singer sold it in 2017 for five million. There's a chef's kitchen, home theater, wine room, outdoor dining area, and fire pit. Oh, and two private balconies. So here's the twist. You can rent this home on VRBO. Here's a listing now, and as I scroll through, there's something fun that the new owners kept to the country music theme. A lot of the bedrooms are nod system of country music legends. Hit the thumbs up button if you just love that. It goes for 3,500 a night. The property's caretaker lives on the land, so there's always someone to help. It rates a solid 4.6 out of five stars, and honestly, I'll, I'd really love to know why it's just 0.4 shy of five. I'll step away for a moment before we head into the next home and scroll through these photos. Now on 
into the last home, the one we started with, Mr. Alan Jackson. This hefty home honestly left me shocked that there's only five bedrooms, but there is eight bathrooms, so there's no waiting in line at the Jackson's home. It's a whopping 22,000 square feet estate in the suburb of Franklin. While there are only five bedrooms, they aren't small. There's a formal dining and living area with impeccable details. Everywhere you turn, there are oversized windows and woodwork. There's also a bar, media room, so many fireplaces. It sold for $19 million in 2021. So I want to know, which of these five homes was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section. Also, while you're there, let me know who's an artist you want us to cover next. We're here to listen and want to give you what you're looking for. I'm Addison Hager for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing.